Thank you, Mr. President, President Ramos Horta, Prime Minister Somare, Prime Minister Sikwa, Prime Minister Najib, development partners, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, President Yudoyono, for making this summit happen. At a time when the world seems mired in bad news, the Coral Triangle Initiative is genuine good news. Here we have nations coming together in common purpose to protect a vital segment of our common global environment. During times of economic hardship, the pressures are greatest to abandon our obligation to the environment or to loosen the rules. Th that is precisely why now we must be even more vigilant in advancing the CTI program. To a world struggling with global warming, we are showing the way toward a united front to keep our biodiversity intact, our food resources strong, and our environment pristine. The Coral Triangle is potentially the world's most important refuge for marine life, but only if we do our part to keep it in good health. For too long, we have let our environment become degraded, our natural resources diminished, our social contract with nature destroyed. It is time to rebalance our approach, develop a strong economy, provide full employment, and maintain the sacred relationship of human beings to Mother Earth. This is not an either-or proposition. This must be a win-win solution to not just stopping the degradation, but also improving, restoring, and enhancing our ecology. We rely on the sea for food, jobs, and pleasure. Let us not destroy this resource. President Yudoyono's CTI proposal was welcomed at the 2007 APEC, ASEAN, and BIMPIAGA summits. CTI ministerial and senior officials developed a joint action plan, a regional plan of action, which we are slated to adopt today. We in BIMPIAGA reinforce the synergies with the CTI. We are pursuing the establishment of a joint fisheries consortium among our private sectors. We are pursuing the adoption of policies that call on the tuna industry to share the costs of caring for tuna spawning grounds in the Coral Triangle. As acknowledged earlier by His Excellency President Yudoyono, funding and assistance is being provided by the multilaterals present here today and the Australian and United Governments, among others. International non-governmental organizations, such as Conservation International, the Nature Conservancy, and the Worldwide Fund for Nature, are also joining forces to work with the Coral Triangle governments in pursuing the Regional Plan of Action, as well as National Action Plans. I have just signed Executive Order 797, mandating the Philippine National Plan of Action that follows the general outline of the CTI Regional Plan and adopts the guiding principles enunciated by our six Coral Triangle countries in 2007. My earlier Executive Order 533, adopting integrated coastal management as a national strategy to ensure the sustainable development of our nation's coasts, oceans, and marine resources, is further adherence to the CTI. We have taken decisive action at the community, local government, provincial, district, and national levels on coastal resource management and multi-sectoral climate change adaptation planning with national budget funding.